country, I would love to see NLP in schools. Because a lot of the scarring that I've encountered with clients starts in schools. Yes. You know, bullying and all of that stuff. Um, and being the bully. Yeah. That leads. So for people that are, obviously there's, we can't say similar situations because everybody's trigger points and everybody's yeah. version of reality is different. But for people that are going through these things and they are interested in learning more um, about NLP, what would you what would you be advised to be the first steps? Work out why work out what it is you want to achieve mm. um, it, because if you don't know why you want to change things then there's no point in trying to it's almost like an acceptance Christ. they got to first they got to want change to yeah. happen and yeah. then the why of th the why is the reason for, for the, the want. want brilliant yeah so you work out why once you understand why that generates a want and the want will lead you into seeking the help. Fantastic. And what are you looking for? Well, I would say looking forward to, but how do you see NLP, do you see NLP gaining more traction in this country? I would love to see NLP in schools. Mm. Because a lot of the scarring that I've encountered with clients starts in schools yes you know bullying and all of that stuff um and being the bully yeah. that leads to scarring as well um so you know a lot of this stuff if you, if they started using some of the nlp te techniques started understanding what's going on better they could stop a lot of it that's fantastic and um, if people are interested in working with you, what's the best way to perhaps contact you? Is it the website or LinkedIn? It, it is the website, but currently the website is down because uh, I've, I've had a bit, a bit of a challenge <laughs> with my uh, ISP. No problem. Um, so it'll be back up within the next few weeks. Fantastic. Um, at the moment, there's just a, a, a business card that doesn't even mention NLP, <laughs> <laughs> which, is, which is weird. Oh, but no, but really do appreciate you coming today. We could talk for hours on this, and I know that you've got to be somewhere later on, so we'll, we'll come to a close with that today. Okay. Um, but that is the one thing I'd, I'd like to put as a final point. Though, yeah. It's not a panacea for everything. Mm. Okay. Just because NLP has a sequence, a series of tools. Um, you know, I, I, I joke about having a tool set for getting rid of all the crap in your head. Yeah. It doesn't mean it will deal with everything. Don't, it, it's, it's rather like saying, you know, aspirin cures everything. No, it doesn't. No. And it's nice to actually hear that because sometimes when people get in, in not so much enthralled in a methodology or a practitioner or something, that sometimes they, overemphasize yeah its capability and it's nice to actually go yes it's fantastic and it will help you yeah but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for everyone no you've got to allow it to work for you and that's where wanting the change and the why yeah really plays a part so right. for them to start there yeah fantastic thank you jerry it's been a pleasure amazing thanks Brilliant. Byron. no Brilliant, that's been really good. Okay. There we are. We are we done. We're done. Brilliant. That's it, buddy. That was really good. The only problem is though so I gotta find a different way with this sofa because it's an L shaped sofa. It's a bit nightmare and now my hip yeah, same is here. just gone. <laughs> it's just gone. It's like I'm, I'm moving out now slowly and I'm like, don't kick something, don't kick something. And I I'm going off to walk around Nash Point. Oh my god.